another tip for onboarding. So once you kind of sell somebody on the idea of the flip classroom, you know, what you want to do is you want to have an onboarding strategy. And that means that, you know, when you're trying something new, and so let's say people are ingrained in a, in a current process, you know, and that's, that, that has to do a lot with education, is that we have a very traditional sense of education. And so, um, but what we did at the, with, you know, our experiment with the flip classroom is we, all we simply did is we just changed the ends of where, you know, where were you we doing our homework at? That's all we did. So we changed about 20% of our routines in order to, um, you know, have full adoption within our school. Now, the other thing that we did is we also looked at how did other people adopt you know, or to transition into, um, you know, let's say another, from one software to another software. And then we found that, you know, what's very unique is that our 20% of change was similar to what Google did with, um, you know, having Microsoft users transition into Google. And what we found is as we looked at other other types of situations as well, we found that, you know, if if we kept the change to be where 80% of it was pretty much the same, you know, within our organization and what we did on a day-to-day -day basis, but at maximum, we changed 20% of the practice, right? There's not a huge... Um, issue about onboarding then you know if you if you were to change over 50 percent and you had to learn new structures vocabulary and stuff like that new terms you know it becomes difficult for a lot of people to overcome that but if you keep you know if we model it after google and what you know what we did at, at clindale what you'll find is you'll find that we had minimal uh, change to vocabulary, minimal change to maybe some of the you know, core processes. You know, we're still working with students. We're still working with students in the classroom. It's just the percentage of time that we spent working with them changed. And so it was a very small uh, change that had a huge result in our in our outcomes. And so similar to Google, when they, when they designed their platform, what they did is they had it designed. You know, they already knew that People worked in Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint. So when they designed their their cloud drive drive um, you know platforms, you know what they did is like for instance Docs and Sheets and and uh, you know slides. They gave it a little different name title because they had to because of copyright law, but they kept the look and feel pretty much the same. And so. You know, there wasn't a huge onboarding issue. So wherever file and edit and view and insert and format and the tools and extensions, all those things were laid out just like, you know, people were trained in Word. So there wasn't, it wasn't that big of an issue as far as onboarding. And I think, I think that's something that we learned from Google is that, and, and when we've adopted just the 20% rule where we're only going to change a little, little bit of our practice in order to get everybody on board, I think that we were very successful in our process. And we, that's how we were able to um, onboard people without too many stress and, and very quickly. You know, was, all we did is we said, all we're asking you to do is to do homework with students in class. Right, we already had the term homework. We already had, you know, we already had class time, the activities, and so forth. Right, so all we're asking you to do is do that, and then we'll figure out how it works best in your conditions. Right, and so that's what we did, and uh, you know, we used Google's you know twenty percent rule, and uh, it was very very successful. And so, you know, I think Google. Um, Maybe, you know, did it on purpose because of copyright laws. They can only copy 80% of someone else's idea to call it their own, you know, and 20% different. But they were very intentional about how they laid it out to users. And they had to lay it out to users in a way in which they're familiar with. Because, you know, when I transitioned from Word to um, Google's platforms, I found that... <clears throat> I like the cloud-based environment because it's saving my work all the time, and I could collaborate with others. So that was those were two unique features in Google. But when I went to use it, I found it very easy to use because it was familiar in the format and and also the um, you know the look and feel of it and the function of it. And so, when anytime you have change, 
we want to we want to make it as familiar as possible. You know, keep the core of what we do. You know, because we've been trained and, and ingrained in that. But we also what we want to do is change the components to have the biggest impact, and that's what we did.